एवरीवन वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद द सी बी एस ई मैथ बोर्ड पेपर फॉर क्लास टेंथ ईयर 2015 सेट वन एंड वी हैड फिनिश्ड सेक्शन ए इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो नाउ लेट्स मूव टू सेक्शन बी टू मार्क्स ईच क्वेश्चन सो क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन अ सर्कल विद सेंटर ओ and we have an external point and two tangents are drawn from this this is r p and q angle p r q is given as 120 degree and we have to prove o r is equal to p r plus r q this is o r now we know that or bisects angle prq therefore angle p r o is equal to 60 degree and if we join op and angle opr opr is equal to 90 degree perpendicular from center to tangent point of contact right so in triangle opr the angle is equal to 60 degree so we have cos 60 degrees is pr by or cos 60 degree is half is equal to PR by OR, OR is equal to twice PR, and we already know that PR is equal to RQ tangents from the same point. Therefore, OR I can write down as PR plus PR. or also i can write down as pr plus rq so hence proved now question 6 in this question we are given a triangle abc that is circumscribing a circle of radius 3 cm this point is d and we are given this as 6 cm and this as 9 cm area is given as 54 cm square and we have to find ab and ac So we can join the point of contact of tangent to the center. So all these angles are ninety degree, and all these are three three centimeters. This point is O, and we can join AO, BO, and CO. Let this point be E, and this point be F. Now we can take AF as X. and it will be equal to ae this will be equal to 6 and this will be equal to 9 the reason being tangents from the same point to the circle construction join ao bo and co and perpendicular from center to point of contact of tangents of and oe let af and ae equal to x cm now i can say area of triangle abc is equal to area of triangle boc plus area of triangle coa plus area of triangle boa so 
so this is given to us as 54 centimeter square half into base 1 into height plus half into base 2 into height plus half into base 3 into height height is same everywhere 3 so 54 is equal to i can take half and height common as 3 and b1 plus b2 plus b3 so now this becomes 54 into 2 by 3 is equal to b1 is equal to 9 plus 6 plus b2 is equal to for triangle coa 9 plus x and we have 6 plus x so 3 even the 3 3 8 is a 24 so we have this as 36 is equal to 30 plus 2x 2x is equal to 6 and x is equal to 3 so therefore we have ab is equal to 6 plus 3 9 centimeter and ac is equal to 9 plus 3 so 12 centimeter so that's the answer seventh question in this question we are given a quadratic equation 4x square plus 4px minus a square minus b square is equal to 0 open the bracket 4x square plus 4bx minus a square plus b square is equal to 0 this term this term and this term if i take together so 4x square plus 4bx plus b square minus a square is equal to 0 so i have here this i can write down in the form of a plus b whole square so 2x plus b whole square minus a square is equal to 0 so here we have a square minus b square identity so i can say 2x plus b plus a and 2x plus b minus a is equal to 0 2x is equal to minus b minus a so x is equal to minus a plus b by 2 i can say or i could say 2x plus b minus a is equal to 0 so i can say 2x is equal to a minus b so x is equal to a minus b by 2 x is equal to minus a plus b by 2 or a minus b by 2 there is another way of solving this equation by using the quadratic formula directly we can get the answer so let's do that way also so or both ways are correct so we have 4x square plus 4b x minus a square minus b square is equal to 0 so i can see my Comparing to the equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, I have a is equal to 4, b is equal to 4b and c is equal to minus a square minus b square. So I can substitute for x, so x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a, so I get minus 4b plus minus square root of b square is 16b square minus 4 into 4 into minus a square minus b square by 8 2 into 4 so i get minus 4b plus minus this is equal to 16b square minus 16 it becomes plus minus minus sign a square minus b square by 8 so this is equal to minus 4b plus minus here i can take out 4 outside because 16 16 will become 4 i can take out so b square plus a square minus b square by 8 so this becomes minus 4 I can take common so I will get minus 4 by 8 here b 
plus minus this this gets cancelled a square will become a so we will get minus 1 by 2 b plus a and minus 1 by 2 b minus a so we get x is equal to a plus b negative sign by 2 and we also get as a minus b by 2 so that's the answer here so both ways we are getting the same answer question 8 on ap in this question we are given sum of 5 plus sum of 7 terms is equal to 167 and we are given sum of first 10 terms is equal to 235 ap we have to find out now we know Sn is equal to n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Therefore, sum of 10 terms will be equal to 10 by 2, 2a plus 10 minus 1 into d. This becomes 5. S10 is given as 235 is equal to 5 into 2a plus 9d. So I can say that 2a plus 9d is equal to 235 by 5 and we have 2a plus 9d is equal to 5 4 times and 7 times so this is my first equation s5 plus s7 is equal to 167 so we have 5 by 2 2a plus 4d 5 minus 1 plus 7 by 2 2a plus 60 is equal to 167 2 is common here so 2 will get cancelled and 5a plus 10d plus here also we have 2 common so 7a plus 21d is equal to 167 now 12a plus 31d is equal to 167 this is my second equation now multiplying equation 1 by 6 so we get 12a plus 54d is equal to 4 282 third equation now equating second and third so we have 12a plus 31d is equal to 167 12a plus 54d is equal to 282 now subtracting this is get cancelled and this minus 23d is equal to minus 5 1 1 so minus minus n gets cancelled d is equal to 115 by 23 so d is equal to 5 d in first equation we have 2a plus 9d is equal to 47 so 2a plus 45 is equal to 47 2 a is equal to 2 therefore a is equal to 1 so therefore answer a p is equal to 1 6 11 16 21 and so on question 9 in this question we are given a triangle a b c which is right angled at b and the vertices are given a is 4 comma 7 b is equal to 3 and c is 7 3 now we have to find p okay so we can use the pythagoras theorem so according to pythagoras theorem can write down so distance of ac square should be equal to ab square plus bc square 
now ac so distance formula we can write down x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square let's start substituting ac square means that square root sign will be cancelled so we have a7 minus 4 whole square plus 3 minus 7 whole square a b square will be p minus 4 whole square plus 3 minus 7 whole square b c square will be 7 minus p whole square plus 3 minus 3 will be 0 square so we have here 3 square plus 4 square p square minus 8p plus 16 plus 4 square plus 49 plus p square minus 14p so this we get as 25 this is equal to 2p square p square and p square minus 8p minus 22p then 16 and 16 32 plus 49 therefore 2p square minus 22p plus 81 minus 25 is equal to 0 so 2p square minus 22p plus 56 is equal to 0 2 is common so i can write down p square minus 11p plus 28 is equal to 0 now quadratic equation so we have we can split the middle term as minus 7 and minus 4 so p square minus 7p minus 4p plus 28 is equal to 0 p is common p minus 7 minus 4 p minus 7 is equal to 0 so therefore p can be either 4 or 7 we cannot take p as 7 as then bc will become 0 see if i substitute 7 here then this will become 0 so i can see that p is equal to 4 question 10 in this question we are given three points a as x y b as minus 5 7 and c as minus 4 and 5 and these three points are collinear we have to find the relation between x and y so when the three points are collinear that means area of triangle abc is equal to zero area of the triangle formula is equal to half into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 so area is equal to 0 and this half comes this side so this also becomes 0 let's take uh, coordinates of point a as x1 y1 and b as x2 y2 and c as x3 y3 now let's substitute so we have x into 7 minus 5 minus 5 5 minus y minus 4 and y minus 7 so we have 2x minus 25 plus 5y minus 4y plus 28 is equal to 0 2x plus y plus 3 is equal to See, that's the answer. We have finished the section B of this paper and we are going to do the next section in the next video. So stay tuned and see you all.